Hi everybody, welcome back to the storage yard. Now we've received a message on our Facebook page and I'll read it out to you now. I was just wondering, Dan, if you wouldn't mind me suggesting an idea for a video. You see, I'm completely obsessed with looking on YouTube for organisation ideas. It seems extremely popular, but there doesn't seem much about organising caravans. Well, thank you, Lynn, for the suggestion. I had already planned an idea for um, changing one of our cupboards around for use for um, when we're towing. But I did go onto YouTube and I did look around for RV organisation and the topic is massive. And indeed, Lynn is right. There's lots of people with lots of tips and lots of hints, but there's very little for us here in the UK. So I thought, well, today I will start the process and I'll show you what I'm going to do in one of my cupboards in a moment. But also speaking with Angela, she's got some great ideas that she's going to share in a couple of videos time about what she deals with her cosmetics, um, how she organises her cosmetics for when we're away, what she does and, you know, some odds and sods like that. I'll be honest with you, I don't use makeup, so I have no idea. So I think this is going to be the beginning of quite a large subject area, but we're going to start with small steps right now. So you may recall last year I did an LED project where I made up some LEDs for the awning and you may recall I mentioned this stuff, foam board. Now this is an incredibly versatile, lightweight and strong uh, material. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can pick this up from Hobbycraft, you can pick this up online. I'll put some links to where you can purchase this stuff, but it's fantastic. What it is, it's like a laminated um, outer core and you've got foam in the middle as well so it makes it quite thick and this is absolutely fantastic for building things I used to build model houses with my best friend Justin when we were back at school hi Justin by the way and uh, we used to make houses like this and we used to play Warhammer with it and it was a fantastic medium to make things with um, on top of that you can make things like light boxes if you're taking uh, photographs of stuff you can you, you know it, the options are endless with this we're going to use this stuff to make some custom dividers in one of our cupboards to keep all our cups and our glasses together so it's suitable for when we're towing the caravan so I'll show you the problem cupboard now and then I'll show you exactly what we're going to use this stuff and how we're going to go about it all right so this is the problem cupboard and you can see here what the problem is everything is suitable for rolling around and moving about and it's uh, a bit of a mess. So what we used to do is we used to tightly pack all the cups in together, make it so that they wouldn't roll around and make it wouldn't uh, fall over by using this, this non-slip matting. And uh, it works really well. You just wrap it around your cups and your glasses and what have you. But the problem is it looks unsightly. So by the time everything is out, you've still got this stuff around and it just looks a bit unsightly and uh, it's a bit of a mess. So the idea is what we're going to do is we're going to make up a little bracket or a little uh, container that we can put all of the cups and the glasses into down here. And then when we finished, I'll get Chloe to paint it a nice brown color so it blends in perfectly with this cupboard. Measuring. Now this is my um, template. This is my medium I'm going to use, but each mug stands up about a hundred mil tall. And what I want to do is I don't want to cover up the mug at all uh, I want to have it so a little bit proud so I can at least pick the mugs out of the tray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a height of my tray, 90 mil tall. Uh, so we've just got a little bit of the top there. So I'm just going to set this to 90 millimetres. And what this will do is it won't cut, but it means that I can score down the edge of the foam board. And it gives me a very accurate line in which to cut with. I'm just going to pull it down. And what that's given me is a really nice straight edge. Now the important thing with foam board when you're cutting it is to go softly, softly, gently, gently and go over a few times. I'm using a, uh, a craft knife here and all you want to do is just go through three or four times nice and gently. You see if you push too hard and you're too aggressive with it, what will happen is your knife will fall away from the blade and it will just wander off on its own accord. This is the configuration I think we're going to go with. So what I need to do is I just need to measure up exactly the space and the width, etc., what have you, and also make up dividers just to go in between the cups. And then what I'm going to do is make up two separate dividers to hold the two glasses in as well. And then what we're going to do to make sure that these stay in place at the back here as well, is I'm just going to put a divider at the back just to hold this place, this one in place. 
um, but we're not removing the metalwork there across the back because they do hold those glasses in perfectly. So I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a couple of extra pieces across the back here to make sure that this doesn't shift backwards and forwards as we're going down the road. Right, here we are then back at home now where it's a little bit, uh, I've got a bit more space in front of me and I think you can now see what I'm trying to achieve. What I need to do is to mark out and cut some dividers so that they can go across sort of here like so. Now I could make myself some dividers like this and then glue those in place, but there's probably a better and stronger construction method and that is to cut some grooves into this board here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a groove halfway down here, about 5mm across, because that's how thick this stuff is. So if I cut a groove about 5mm wide and about halfway down on this side, I do exactly the same at the right gap, and then the two can then literally slot together like so. A bit like a, a wine box if you've ever taken home a few bottles of wine from the supermarket, you get that sort of crisscross construction. Right, that's what we have so far. Then this is going to be glued across the front, as we know. So I'm going to be using a hot glue gun for gluing bits and bobs together. Um, I'll just show you very quickly how effective it is. And you don't really need a lot of glue either. Um, in fact, I think I've used way too much just there. So uh, just by pushing this onto here, let that dry for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back to it. So whilst we're letting that dry, excuse me mate, thanking you, um, we're going to be gluing onto this and what I've done, and I don't think you can see, but what I've done is I've just put some marks here of where everything is going to line up. So um, let's just see how this is doing. You can see look, that that is really quite strong now. Let me show you how strong that is. Just by that hot glue gun there, you can see that that is quite a strong glue joint now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four beads of glue across the front here, and then affix it onto the front. Um, so this is just going to hold the, um, the cups at the front. And then back here I've got a couple of beakers as well. And if you remember, I've got those metal grills which go across the top which hold the glasses in place. So that's going to be okay. Um, I don't know though if these are going to fit, so I may need to adjust these when we're back at the caravan. And I think you'll agree that that there is going to be an excellent job for keeping the mugs nice and safe and secure. Right, we're back at the caravan now, a couple of days later, so uh, just fitting it in, and I've just put it back in, and I'll have a confession to make. Some of the eagle-eyed viewers will notice that the one that we're fitting in now and trialling out is not the one that you saw me gluing together. Uh, the fact is, is that I put it together, and I was quite happy with my handiwork, and I showed it to Angela, and Angela said, uh, that's all wrong. Um, I've put the cups in wrong. I've put them so the handles were around the wrong way, so in fact, going across, I wasn't getting as much in as what I could have done. So what I've done is I've readjusted it so that the handles are facing backwards. Um, you'll see in a minute what I mean, that they're facing backwards so you can get more alongside each other. I'll show it to you now. Uh, so this is the cabinet right now. Uh, you can see what it's looking like with it in situ. It looks very neat, very tidy, uh, but you'll notice that where the uh, bars are at the back here, they're completely interfering with the glass holders at the back there. And in fact, where I wanted the big glasses stuck down the back here as well, you'll notice that that bar is completely interfering as well. I couldn't have measured it better to interfere with every single part at the back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these pieces at the back here so they've got an L shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip this out make those adjustments and then fit it back in. Right, here we go then. So what you can see now, this is the back of it. What you can see, I've cut out these uh, sections here, 
which now should allow all the glasses to fit at the back. So let's fit it back in one more time. So let's test it at the back there, make sure we can fit these in, which we can. Let's make sure they go in. Look at that, I don't think I need to adjust this actually. I think this is going to be just right. So they go in at the front. We've got our two goblets which go down here and down here. We've got another tall glass which fits down here. That might need some adjustment up in that corner there. Along here. And the problem what I had was I had the cups handles to the side, so they were quite wide. What they do now is the handles go towards the back, like so. And there we go. And I think you find that looks pretty good. That means we can now put this in and uh, nothing's going to move around. It doesn't matter if these move around too much, I suppose, because they're plastic, but it's these that we need to protect. Um, and that's going to be pretty cool. Now we've got, obviously got, from the, the, the beginning of the shots, you would have seen that we had other things as well. We had some um, pots as well. We keep these pots, by the way, for tea bags. And then we've got some other Tupperware pots here as well that we keep. Um, and then you would have remembered, we've got these things as well. Well, these are not going to stay in this cupboard because they're too big and actually we don't use them. So they're actually coming out of the caravan completely. So there we go guys, that is our safety cup divider. I think that's what we're going to call it uh, for use in our caravan. Now the point of me sharing this with you is not for you to go and rush out and make your own safety cup divider thing and eat bob. Uh, the point is I want to show you how versatile the foam board actually is for use inside the caravan. Now that construction method that we had of the Chris Cross, uh, which I shared with you earlier on, that can be used in a variety of different ways. Angela and I have already started discussing about making up um, some compartments in one of the side lockers here in the caravan um, for use for socks and pants, what have you, certainly for Chloe. Our clothing usually gets put in the wardrobe, but Chloe's is sort of held in the overhead uh, lockers. Uh, what we're thinking of doing is using the same crisscross construction that we used for this divider and making a vertical rack at one end of the cabinets so she can put socks and pants in there and keep everything organised. And then maybe if she doesn't use that for socks and pants, it's lots of little cubby holes that she can stick her knickknacks like her phone, headphones, uh, teddy, what have you. So it's kept secure and out of the way. Um, it's very lightweight and it's incredibly strong. It's very versatile. It won't stand up to constant bashing about and once it bends and it buckles, that's it. It's bent and it's buckled. But other than that, it's quite a resilient and quite a strong um, medium. So go and have a go, go and purchase some. Like I've said, I'll put a link in the description below of where you can purchase this stuff from. Go and purchase some, have a go with a craft knife, you know, see what you come up with. Um, let me know what you do decide to make with yours if you're gonna go out and purchase some. Um, I know that some of you have already purchased it for your lights, so fantastic. Have a go at making something like this. We're pretty happy with it now. All we're gonna do is paint it so it doesn't look so uh, wow in the caravan. Um, and uh, that's it from us from today. So until next week, guys, Thanks for watching and thank you once again, Lynn, for a cracking suggestion. There's going to be more on this topic in the future. We'll see you soon. Bye now.